What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again with another Copart walk around and we have our special guest, Michael from Santa's Workshop. Workshop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you guys didn't watch the first video all the way to the end, then you don't get that because I called it. I called it something different. I'm not going to say it because then it'll confuse people. It's Santa's workshop. I have a direct link down below. You got to check this guy out because he's working on his Mustang. He's working on what? What year was that Chevy? 52. Okay, you got a 52 Chevy Sport, Sport Coupe. All right, and anything else you got in the works? 53 uh, five window Chevy truck. Ooh. Um, we got a 68 Chevy C10. Then it'll be a little bit later on. I have got a uh, 03 Dodge uh, that we're going to be fixing up. Oh boy, is that the Cummins? Yep. Oh, let's see, so there's a lot of good content over there, man. <laughs> and that's not counting all the woodworking and other stuff I'm going to be doing yeah. in between. Yeah, so go check out Santa's Workshop direct link down below. And speaking of these old cars that you're working on, we got one that you're thinking about picking up right here. What do you think it'd take for you to get this back mm. on the road? Oh, <laughs> gal in the body putty, but I mean, <laughs> maybe some tires. It's just metal. Yeah, you know. It's just metal. You can work that out. Make a convertible out of yeah. it. I, I'm thinking this maybe was in a garage, you know, and yeah. and <laughs> with, with all the wood ash on top, I think that's kind of obvious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm thinking it was in a garage. And I, the only question is, is was it the car or the garage that burnt down? I'm wondering if the car didn't catch the garage on fire, Ooh. or maybe the garage caught the car on fire. I don't know. The car, I mean, it's every bit of it. it well, not every bit of it. Hold on. There, <laughs> there is something that survived. Uh, I'm hmm. thinking that didn't go to this no, car. No. <laughs> If you got a car like that, you don't have the slip on yeah. roll cover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna think someone threw just they just threw a bag of garbage in there. This is a 68. And it it looks like it was actually in pretty good shape. Uh not so much anymore. I don't even know what I'm trying to see if there's anywhere that has any color left. Uh mm, no. Not really. The body putty's even all gone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe it was blue. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's sad. It's so sad to see something like this. What a shame. Do, do we want to see if we can get the hood up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if the, uh, I'm going to guess the hood probably isn't going to open. It would be cool to see if there was an engine in there, though. Ugh, there is an engine. There is. Wouldn't it be awesome if the engine was protected by the body and everything under there is still chromed out and looks brand new? Yeah, that's not going to happen, guys. Yeah, it's, that's not going to happen. It ain't going to do that. No, but you can see there's definitely uh, chrome valve covers. Actually, I may be wrong. Every, everything. The, there's, your, uh, there's your radiator hoses. They're a little crispy. There's the air cleaner. She may... The engine itself may still be savable. Uh, who knows, man? It had this nice cowl hood on it. It's crushed and the roof is crushed. I want the turn signals work. Will you check the signals for me real quick? Uh, oh, I'm getting shades of Christine <laughs> right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't get me started on Christine. My favorite movie. Well, I got a lot of favorite movies, but that is definitely one of my favorite movies. And you know what I watch it? Do you remember Arnold Cunningham in Christine? Oh, oh yes. The bad guy. Good guy turned bad guy. He was in a movie that I watched last night. I had no idea he was in it. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield going back to college or going oh back to school. Oh my gosh. You remember Rodney Dangerfield? Oh yes. I get no respect in Bubbles. I, we won't talk about Bubbles, but there's a <laughs> joke about I love the way your ass curves. <laughs> if you don't know that one, you got to look up on YouTube Rodney Dangerfield and Bubbles. That skit had me rolling oh boy anyway it's some of it's highly inappropriate <laughs> so so you may not want to watch that stuff with your kids but man rodney dangerfield going back to college was epic man that was so good the triple london or what london that he that, that hit uh he oh, did gosh. off the, the <laughs> he was uh him and george carlin man like just two. oh yeah george carlin had a really unique way of making intellect funny. Mm -hmm. Such an intelligent man that could make being smart funny. 
and made you think about things. You know, his jokes really made you think about things. Too bad we couldn't have had him for president. Oh, man. I would have voted George Carlin all oh, yes. day. <laughs> Hell, I would have voted Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> At least he'd make you laugh. Well... Anyway, we won't. We, I'll stop right there. I'll stop right there, okay? Because we, we could get way off track on this. Anyway, yeah, we're not love, a pol political channel. We're not yeah, a political channel. I love Rodney Dangerfield, and I, I've I've always had a major love and respect for George Carlin as well. Rest in peace to both of them. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield died. Uh, was, he died a long time ago, didn't he? I, I don't remember. I truly don't remember. I don't remember either. I'm pretty sure he's... Rodney Dangerfield, if you see this video and you're actually still alive, I'm sure you're not. Uh, please forgive me. I, I <laughs> thought you were dead, man. I really thought you passed away long ago. Anyway, 68 Camaro. I'm thinking about picking this up for the channel because I really think we could save this. Uh, you know, I really wanted a convertible anyway. So, you know, it's already half done for you. If we could get the motor working, we could drive this thing. Like you could, you could drive this thing. I saw a guy DIY gang. He did it. He did it. So now I feel like I'm gonna have to go out there and do it myself. I'm totally kidding. You guys know I'm. I. I this is not. Well, you, you you know the basis of any good car. You start at the at the frame. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you the frame's still good. Yeah, the frame's probably still all right. It's probably the only thing. It's, it'd be and, fun to take the body off and see what's left under it. And, and Randy, it's a standard. Is it? It is. <laughs> ha, huh? Oh, it is. I didn't even see. There's a, there's a shifter. The shifter survived. It doesn't have the ball anymore, <laughs> but the shifter's still there. So you've got a V8 engine, mm -hmm. a manual transmission, and a rear diff, and I'll bet two of the three at least are probably still worthy. They're savable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to move on from this because it would be fun to buy it just to see what's under the hood. But everybody knows this thing, it, it's going to get bid way up. I guarantee you. Somebody's going to bid some outrageous number Well, just for the, the title. It'll be yeah, just for just the, the title. title. Yep. And if they can find the VIN plate, which, uh, you know, yeah, well, no. On these, wasn't it in the pillar? Uh on these older ones oh nope there it is there it is and that right there is probably worth five thousand dollars that in the title for for this year bottle yeah 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 because well we won't get anyway i don't want to i don't want to start giving people bad ideas you know <laughs> on how to how to do things but anyway yeah this car right here i, I mean i am curious to see how much this goes for. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on it. Let's move on to the next one. Next on my list is a Honda Civic Si. I don't remember the year. I'll find that out in a minute, but that's not really important. This, it's a good looking car, number one. But number two, I think the main thing about this car that intrigues me is the damage. It's listed as a non-runner and it's got some bizarre damage like Number one, take a look at the hood. I don't know how well you can see this, but the gaps over here and over here, it's got some weird gappage going on there. Okay, yeah, whatever, no big deal. But take a look at the windshield. The win uh, so you've got this big scrape going across like a brick or a cinder block or something came sliding across it. You've got a big impact right here, so something just the corner of something just hit this and shattered it you've got from the pillar this one's i think that's the weird one <laughs> this is what makes me think like you had said maybe it bottomed out and the shock wave kind of came through the pillar yeah. and this is the direction the energy was distributed from the pillar was that way um that's what we were thinking we were thinking it bottomed out but then it gets even more interesting because when a car bottoms out, generally the front bumper is going to take a hit. And of course, the condenser and the radiator all get kind of buckled up as well. But you take a look at this, there is no damage to the bumper at all. And then you, you, you take a look at the, I don't know how well you can see in there, but there's no damage to the condenser, the radiator, and I'm looking under the car. There's no, not even a scrape on the subframe. The hooks are still there, they're straight. Um, and the airbag's blown. And the airbag is blown. Explain that. Now, both wheels are turned the same direction. It does look like this wheel took 
a hit or a heavy rub up against something because it's it's tore up right here uh, maybe a curb check hit a curb real hard i guess that could have I, I mean that wouldn't have blown an airbag though so no. i wouldn't think that wouldn't have blown an airbag uh yeah and it's listed as a non-runner on top of all of this it's a non-runner but it's an si oh what did you find we got a heck of a bingo Ooh. right there and how did that not break oh the glass? wow that's not from somebody hitting it either. It almost looks like it it bent right there. Let's look at the other side. This car is just uh This is this is very strange. We got some buckling on the roof. Oh, oh wow. I think that's just from from butt sitting up there. This is bizarre. I don't know. I don't understand why it wouldn't run either. Like on, ooh, oh wow. Oh, ooh. this was stolen. Yeah, she was stolen. She has the key though. Or maybe, I don't know <laughs> what, well yeah, this is all broken. So they, they broke the ignition off or did they there's the ignition right there <laughs> i'm so this is a salvage yard all right this whole component right here is from a salvage yard so and i can't get the i can't get the key out this is weird all the connectors have been removed and plugged into this one you know I do kind of wonder if somebody wasn't messing around with the whole ignition and everything. And blew the bag. And blew the bag in their face. <laughs> and, yep. and okay, I think I've put together what happened. I got a theory now. Here's the theory. I don't think it was stolen. I think somebody was screwing with their ignition. It wouldn't start. They had an ignition problem. So, theory goes like this. The car won't start. Somebody doesn't know what they're doing. Decides to go grab an ignition from pull apart. Right. All right. So they snap it and break it because it uses special, you know, screws that they don't have the stupid little security key for. You can buy them at AutoZone, by the way, for like six bucks for a pack. Yep. Okay. But instead, they they rip it apart. Then they come home and they start just plugging everything in with the battery installed. And it's rare, like 99.9% .9 of the time, you can you could replace airbags and and with the battery connected and they don't pop. But there's a reason they, <laughs> the shop manuals tell you to disconnect the battery because there is the possibility you can get some static discharge or, or something from the battery or, or whatever and you can you can trip the airbag yes it's rare but what if the guy was in there can you imagine he's sitting in his seat pissed off this damn piece of shit car <laughs> god dang and he's putting all the wires in as soon as he plugs in the ignition bow and it pops him right in the face right and dude is like i'm done he gets out of the car he picks up a big old rock and he just i'm not actually going to do it but he just throws the damn thing at the windshield shatters the windshield then he kicks the bumper and then he walks away from the car and it ends up he files an insurance claim <laughs> you need to be on csi <laughs> i just figured it out man like it's like yeah uh, put me on investigation discovery or something. There you come go. On. <laughs> come on. I think I just, I solved the case, man. We know what happened. <laughs> uh, I am going to go ahead and put a jump pack on. The airbag's already blown, so I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> the last guy did that for me. We'll go ahead and, uh, this, someone did a, a home tent job. That didn't go over very well. And they got their shank down there on the ground. <laughs> Where's that? You see a shank? on the ground itself oh oh yeah it's got butterflies on it that's a maybe that's it's a, a she shank that's a nice one oh. i i still like the car though i i do i like the little thing it's been a while since this thing's been ran I don't oh my believe. goodness v tech v tech baby oh somebody was playing around and they're here they came and messed with, oh boy, the computer's all, look at this. Ugh. The computer's hitting the back. Is that the negative terminal? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look positive. Wow. <laughs> wow. This car, it's one of those that lived a really hard life. Yeah, this one lived a really, really hard life. 
Now, if uh, if it doesn't turn on with a red light there, you have to disconnect one of these and hit the emergency button. Okay. And hold it. And then once it does that, you can yeah. pow. <laughs> yeah. And now the passenger <laughs> bag goes off. <laughs> I want to stand back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna climb right on in because somebody else already got hit with this. All right. Let's put, oh, you know what else? The clutch is all the way to the floor. Oh. This car's got a lot of problems, man. Oh, yeah, there's, there's zero clutch. It ran. It's listed as a non-runner. It's listed as a non-runner, but she ran. You know, I think I know what the problem is. It'll start and die like that yeah. when it's a security fault because this key is wrong. This ignition is wrong. Like, I guarantee you none of this has been properly programmed. Right. You can't just take a key and an ignition from another car and shove it in. No. It'll start, but that my key light is flashing constantly. So that's a security light letting you know. It'll start just to let you know that it runs. Right. But other than that, it shuts off immediately. So it just needs to be programmed. Maybe I got to turn it completely off. Take the key out. Do it again. Was that? Do it again. One more time. I'm going to kill my damn booster pack. Yeah, yeah, it's a security thing. The, the motor sounds great, though. It does. Yeah, the motor sounds really good. Let's try this. Uh, ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on. <sighs> guys, give me a second. I got an idea. All right, guys, I, I tried a little something, something. We'll see if uh, we'll see if it does any good. Come on, old girl, start for me. Come on. Yeah, I'm thinking this one's not gonna... If I wanna play with it anymore, I'm gonna have to buy the damn thing. And I'm not sure I wanna do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. One more time, just one, one more. more. Come on, do this for me, man. Nah. Okay. All right. Well, somebody has uh, somebody's <laughs> somebody's made a, a huge mess of this. Um, and the fact that the clutch is all the way to the floor could be the the clutch master cylinder or the clutch slave cylinder. Oh, she's dead empty. Yep. So. Um, I just did one of these. The slave cylinder was dead on my uh, Tiburon. It's no big deal. The slave cylinder on these usually, well, <laughs> usually pretty easy. This one's got a lot of stuff sitting in the way, though. You take that air box out, yeah. opens it all up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet it's probably just sitting somewhere right right under there. But yeah, I can see the uh, the cable, and there's the slave cylinder right there. See, there's slave cylinder. The clutch master has gone out. Maybe it shares it with the master cylinder. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, comment below. Tell me what you think of the Civic Si. I I am actually tempted to bid on this one just because it's got some interesting damage. It doesn't run, and it's one of my favorite things to do. Like, uh, you take this Lost Primos Auto Glass, I'll throw a windshield in it for 150. You get the glass fixed, replace the airbag, and then uh, I may have to call a locksmith to figure out the. <laughs> 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 it might take a locksmith to figure out what's going on with the I guarantee you it's the reader right for the, the for the transponder and something's going on there you could take the uh, remote apart and that little transponder chip is in the remote yeah and just it's glued in you can just pop them out switch them out okay you got the right transponder in the key well I'm gonna keep this on my list guys 
we'll see what happens. Moving on to the next one. Next, we got a 2009 BMW 1 Series, the Bummer Beamer. I think Monkey Wrench Mike has one of these. Uh, but I think his is a, I think his is a 130 or is it a 135? I don't, I don't remember guys. You know, Beamers aren't my thing, man. Uh, this is a 128. It's a clean little car. She's, she's tiny. <laughs> Just don't look at the roof. Yeah, don't look at the, the, the top. I'm not even sure. I wonder if they ran through something or maybe an automatic car wash got a hold of it and just... No, that looks I, like it has stayed down most of its life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's weather rot right in there. So it's just someone just left the top down forever. She's a good looking car otherwise. I mean, if I had a garage, I'd just leave it down. Yeah, yeah. I have a garage. I wouldn't leave the tops down on my cars though. <laughs> It's, it's good looking. It's low miles, relatively. 106,000 miles on the odometer. It's just, she's got power, too. Speedometer goes to 160. Ooh. Whew. Ooh, she smells, uh... That's powerful. I'm starting to get my sense of smell back. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's different. I don't know. <laughs> Not quite. What is going on with the screen in here? The screen is falling down in there that's something all right let's push to start let's put it says no key oh you got to shove the key. this is so stupid okay so you've got a key remote right then you got to push the start button uh-huh but you have to put the remote inside of the dash to start the car that's for people like me that would lose their key <laughs> i'm like if you've got push to start should you really have to shove it into the ignition <laughs> You're supposed to just keep it in your pocket. Oh, we got lights, we got washer fluid, we got airbags, we got a clock, low tire pressure, airbag. The brake light probably goes off. Nope, the brake light stays on. She's got problems. This one's de this one's definitely got problems. Does it go into gear? Yep. It does. Backwards? Yeah. Does the important window work? It does. Does the top work? We're not going to try it. I've <laughs> I've learned my lesson. You come out here, you start screwing with sunroofs uh, or convertible tops, and uh, then they don't go back. We got smoke coming from under the hood. Smoke. Let's shut it off. It's pr I, I. Oh, that's a lot of smoke, dude. That's a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke. That thing. That's. That's exhaust. That's okay. Oil. That's oil on the oil. Exhaust. Oil. Okay. Whoo! Very common. Very Ooh. common. Yeah, the valve covers on these. It's not. Oh wow! Look, she's dumping. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I mean, she is dumping oil. Now this looks like it'd be real difficult to work on because you can only see half of the engine. The reality is, though, this comes off. All of this over here, it pops off. It's really easy. In fact, somebody's recently had it all removed because they didn't put anything back the screws are missing yeah all of this comes off you have full access to this now what ends up happening is you either end up with just a bad valve cover gasket or it's also very common on these the uh valve cover itself is made of plastic and it cracks oh because this is a straight six right. so it's really long it warps over time and you crack the valve cover itself and you go and you buy the gasket, and that's great. They're expensive, but that's fine. Replace the gasket. Take all this apart, put it all back together, only to find out your valve cover is actually cracked. And uh, a valve cover, these are like four or $500 from FCP Euro. Right. It's not a cheap part to replace. Ouch. It's kind of one of those, though, if, if it's leaking like this, you're probably better off just do the job once, take it apart, put the new valve cover with the new gasket in, and just be done with it. She's leaking a lot. Like, honestly, I'm kind of surprised this is really only 106,000 miles. That seems a little off to me. Yeah. That's a lot of oil caked up back there. And on top of that, look at the power steering. Look how much power steering fluid is caked up on the outside Ooh. of that. It looks a lot more than just a hundred. Like, normally you don't see 100,000. Ooh. You've got a leak there, too. Yep. Hey, it's not a BMW if it doesn't leak oil. Uh, there's a saying, if your BMW doesn't leak oil, it's not running right. Or it's not running at all. 
<laughs> these things have so many gaskets and seals it is absolutely ridiculous which is why i'm going to take just a moment to plug electric cars okay how many parts are in a moving engine on average oh i don't even know i have Quite. 600 800 a thousand quite a few yeah there's I mean, a lot yeah you could probably count on two hands the number of moving the number of moving components on an electric engine right uh, it's not even a, an engine it's a motor this is an engine that's a motor which is why electric cars although some of them don't have the greatest you know range like mine that's fine they generally are reliable Sure, the accessories break, but guess what? The accessories break on gas cars, too. <laughs> yeah. But you don't end up with a ton of oil leaks like this one. So just I just had to selfish, selflessly, not selfishly, Randy, self, selflessly. <laughs> I'm selfless because I'm trying to help the public, not promote my own agenda. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, I like the little one series, but uh, no. No, between the, the roof and all of the leaks... I'm going to have to avoid this one like the plague. Next on my list, another Civic. That's right, we're back with one of the older generation Civics. This is honestly one of my favorites, except this has got too, too many doors. And for you, you prefer the hatchback. That's right. Yeah. Well, a friend of mine. I'm, yeah. I'm going to give him a shout out, Donovan. I thought about you when I saw this. Yeah. Uh, I, too, am a fan of the hatchbacks. You just don't see them. In fact, you don't really see this. Any, I can't tell you the last time I saw this generation of Civic just out roaming around the streets. Unless it's been dropped to the ground, has fart can mufflers, wings, and, right. and crazy wraps. Like, this thing is actually... This is what, what I like to call an honest car. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's showing its age. It hasn't been... It doesn't appear anyway to have been molested or really modified. It's just a good old... 95-ish Civic with no hubcaps, lots of dings. Still under 200,000. Still under 200,000, which, you know, that's decent mileage for a Honda. The typical Honda paint, which is no big deal because, you know, I got that deal with Mako, man. They'll, they'll throw a paint job on this, make this thing look brand new. You know what else is crazy? Take a look at the inside of that exhaust pipe right there. Oh, wow. Now, that either this got a brand new muffler or a blown head gasket, <laughs> or this thing's running on propane. I, I, I want to say that has to be a, a new exhaust system because the outside of that looks too pristine. Yeah, this is a uh, the exhaust just looks far too nice. Far too nice. Uh, my gosh, it's got good tires on it. I mean, they're cracked. Douglas Walmart Specials. Shout out to Walmart Special Tires. I got no problem with that, but I'll tell you what, I used to put these same Douglases on everything back in the day. Everything. Got good tread on them. This car's been sitting a while. It's listed as a run and drive. I always love it when I find these cars here, and it's got the AAA roadside assistant. This is another thing I look for. If I see AAA stickers on the windows, it usually means, like, how many teenagers are running around sticking AAA stickers right. on the windows? Right. Okay, that usually tells you it was an older adult, probably a responsible adult that had roadside assistance. They paid out the extra money for peace of mind. And the people that'll have AAA, just in case, are the same people that'll probably take care of their car yeah. just in case. They'd rather take care of uh, preventative maintenance rather than wait for something to break to actually fix it. Look at that 9,000 RPM rev limiter. Or a, a red line rev limiter, 9,000 RPM. 9,000? She ain't going to 9,000 without throwing something <laughs> through the block. But, I mean, at least the tack has nine on it. I love it. What is this? What is this? What is this thing? CDs or? I no? have no clue. What is that? If anybody knows what that is, some weird clamshell thing. There's a parking sticker. Uh, parking permit for prime place apartments i don't know what those are uh-oh uh, grab the steering wheel and twist yes all right dead as a doornail another thing that's kind of a downside for me is it's an automatic and i'm not against automatics in fact i think just about everything i own in fact i think everything i own at this point right now no, 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 because I have the Nissan hard body pickup truck, and that is a manual transmission. 
but uh, I'm not an automatic hater. It's just some cars I think are a lot more fun with a manual, and this is one. These cars are fun to drive. Let's put a put a little boost on her, and uh, come on now. Cable's all getting twisted up, and there we go. Nope, she's not happy. That's okay. Hold down the button. There we go. And whoa! Windshield hey. whoppers work. Hey, the windshield. Whoa! Yeah, they definitely work. I think the blades are actually decent too. Yeah, fire it up, man. Or if you want me to do it, she's she's pretty clean. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, me and my long legs. Now I'll give it a little throttle here. All right, go ahead. Huh. Well, it's trying. It's trying, but she sure ain't happy. I wonder how long it's been sitting with it's gas. I'm gonna smell the you smell the, the gas. Makes you wonder why she was parked in the first place. Maybe a transmission. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It looks like that gas cap ain't been removed in a while. It really don't smell that bad. No, it doesn't. Okay. Huh. Well, little car, you have me intrigued. Especially since it's supposed to be a run and drive and it's definitely not running right now. Oh, I gotta move this seat back. This is, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. She's not happy. But she runs. That actually sounds pretty peppy. She runs. Seems like the throttle's lacking. Like that's floored. Very sluggish. Almost makes me wonder if someone got the timing off a tooth or two when they did the belt or. She sounds all right. Maybe, hell, maybe it's just an old Honda. Yeah. That's what it is. I guess I'm used to the new cars, man. You tap the throttle and it's like, you're used to that fuel injection. Yeah. Well, that's it. This is fuel injected, but it just seems a little sluggish on the throttle. The brakes feel good. Yeah. She goes forward and backwards, no issues. Brake light is on. The trip is at 488, so somebody drove it. Yeah. See if the air conditioning works. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, it's just, it's a kicking. Yeah. Yeah, the AC is cold. Wow. It's even got <laughs> cruise control. Oh, wow. Power steering works. I think you may need this one. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever brought a Civic to the channel. I don't think I've ever had one on here. You can't kill them. Yeah. She's idled a little high, but... No smoke or nothing? No. A little oh. bit when we first started, but I think it was just fuel. Dang it, I don't need this. It's got bad tint, it's got bad paint. Interior is just really nice. You know, with a nice blue paint job and some fresh window tint, mm -hmm. 
And some hubcaps. Hubcaps, yep. She'd actually be a pretty straight, decent looking little car. Except that it's an automatic. I really dislike that it's an automatic. I don't know. Let's check the automatic transmission fluid. If I can find the dipstick. They like to hide them. Where is the dipstick? It'll be down low. Uh, oh, look at all the spider webs down there. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you want to check, if it's down there, you got to go. Yeah, just, just stick your hand down there. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, wow. Ew. Oh, you're a braver man. Oh, than I. man. <laughs> That's awful. Look. Little burn, but not bad. Yeah. All right, we'll carefully plug this back in. Try not to get it in the dang spider webs, man. Okay, come on now. This thing's, this thing's been sitting a while, man. <laughs> She's been sitting a while. That, that was a nice color blue at one time. Yes, it was. And I'm telling you, I could take it to Mako, man, and probably, uh, I bet for 400, 400 bucks or so. Right. They'd repaint it for me, and she would look about like this again. Clear headlights. Yeah. I think these are glass. Yeah, those oh, are glass. Oh, no wonder. Those are the glass ones. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now she's starting to show her true colors. Almost sounds like an idle air control valve. Looks like someone had recently done a tune-up. You can see how shiny it is. Yep. And these wires are newer. So somebody put wires, maybe plugs. I seem to remember this being a common Honda problem back in the day on these older ones. When they would start warming up, you'd end up with a fluctuating idle. Huh. And I keep thinking it was an idle air control valve. But I don't see an idle air control valve on this unless it's over here on the side or something. I just don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. There was a plug, and if you unplugged it, and it... I can't find the... I can't find the connector thing, the tab on it, to push it in, but... Yeah, she's, uh... She doesn't sound nearly as good now. Let's see if the check engine light kicked on. No, no check engine light. Of course, it could be burned out too. <laughs> That's the way I used to fix them before I learned how to work on them. Just unplug them. Yeah. Put it in gear, see if it stops. Yeah. She just doesn't like to idle. Yep. I would put money on an idle air control valve. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Air conditioning is nice and cold, man. Yeah, as soon as you, as soon as it's in park. Yep. Put it in drive though. Smooths right out. Hmm. Just tell everybody that's the low lope of the cam. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you go to sell it, you just tell potential buyers that it's got a cam in it, and it's not a lie because it really does have a cam exactly. in it. Exactly. Yeah. So you're not uh, you're not fibbing to anybody. All right, guys, comment below. Tell me what you think of the little Civic, man. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Next on my list, a 2018 Silverado Z71. She's got a tad bit of damage. A little bit. A little bit. She she got she got rocked by something. How bad is... Oh, well, you know, I love that the body shops put markings on everything so you can kind of get a clear idea of what's going on. Obviously, this lower control arm here, I mean, you didn't need markings on it to see it. She's twisted up. She's twisted up pretty good back there. Uh, we got Ranchero or Rancho, Ranchero shocks. I think it's Ranchero, right? I almost said Rancho, like Rancho Cucamonga. We got some, uh, yeah, I don't know, KMC wheels. Actually, I do know KMC because I bought some of them, and they were actually good wheels, man. 
open country Toyo tires. And she looked nice back in the day, but you can see this side kind of, things are kind of yeah. bent up this way and buckled and you can see it's bowed out. You can fit your finger in there. She took a bit of a hit. I'll bet you it was a rock. A big rock? Yep. You think they were rock crawling? think so because or you think they just ran into a, a big well, ass something had to come up yeah yeah this way yeah something real big i mean it just it it well when you hit something hard enough to shove a bolt through the steel <laughs> wow you're not kidding man <laughs> that is a bolt through the steel wow Oh, uh, you know, I see these cars and trucks out here, man. I just, I wish I knew the stories behind them. I would love to get the owners coming out here and yeah, you know, I was driving right down a, you know, 235 and a rock fell off a truck. You know, I've seen, I've actually, I can't talk about the story, but I've seen that happen out here at mm -hmm. Copart where a rock fell off of the back of a semi and killed the, the passengers. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it, it rocks bounce. People don't realize that. You think when a rock, well, I mean, I would have never thought, you think when a rock falls, it just lands on the ground and stops. Oh, no. 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 When the rock fell out of the back of that semi, it hit the ground and almost like a basketball. It hit the ground and shattered it, the highway, shattered the highway and bounced back up right through the windshield. Yep. Yeah. It, uh, it does happen. It's rare. And it's, it's another one of those things where it really makes one sit back and think like the timing of that you had to be in that spot at that time with that truck the rock had to fall at that time at that very place for you to have hit it just right yeah and it's over uh it gets you thinking i don't like thinking <laughs> i don't like thinking about that kind of stuff it's like wow um yeah i do wonder i do wonder if maybe this is a similar situation where a rock came up off a truck or something or they were just playing i don't know that looks more like a, a, a hard impact versus just climate kind of rock crawling and a little bit of damage if you slipped i don't know i guess we'll never know unless the owner of this truck comments in the video below and uh -oh. says i think his name was rodriguez there you go rodriguez um no that's the install oh that's no, the install excuse me dang, dang it sorry well, rodriguez <laughs> hey if you've seen this truck if you know this truck feel free to comment below tell us what happened man because i'm always curious about like especially accidents like this where you're looking at it, you're like this is oklahoma you know we don't have mountains where you have like landslides and stuff where rocks right. are falling in the middle of the highway so and then this truck isn't set up for rock crawling no so you wouldn't think you would be out climbing rocks in this but you never know that could be the reason why it happened yeah <laughs> that could very well be the reason why it happened yeah you know what it is they put a two inch lift on it Mm -hmm. they threw some ranchero shocks on it and they said we're ready and they threw those rims and tires and they thought they were ready for rock crawling yep no no this lift is not nearly big enough to be out <laughs> rock crawling guys this is big enough you could have some fun at draper yeah you know a little more fun at draper without bottoming out so easily but it did the, no <laughs> you need a an extra three or four inches on that lift if you want to go rock crawling. those tires wrong tires for doing that too guys yep yeah, I don't know if that's what happened though. I'm just kind of joking around, making fun. We don't, we don't know. We don't know what the what the heck happened with this. It's a nice truck though, or I should say, it was a nice truck. Uh, we got black ice air freshener. Is it listed as a run and drive or no? I can't tell what that is. That looks like a two. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Generally, you have three designations here. You have D for run and drive. Mm -hmm. S means it starts and it ain't going to move. And then you have N means it ain't going to do nothing. Uh, it's the first time in all the years I've been here I've seen the number two. I <laughs> maybe, maybe it runs like crap. Maybe it's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the key in. We'll see what it does. The airbags are blown, so I don't have to worry about getting hit with any bags. Oh. All right, we're gonna be the first ones to put the key in this. Oh, she, she's got life. I heard Z the fuel pump. Z71 like a Cadillac. Yes, sir. Oh. oh man, wow. I'd say the steering got, yeah. got whacked pretty good. Yeah. 
There's gonna be a little bit of damage. Hey, we got an air, oh, oil pressure. Oh, got the oil pan. Oh man, I didn't see any oil under it, did you? Well, <laughs> you know why? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I know why we didn't see any oil under it. It's on that rock they hit. <laughs> if it's not open, it ain't opening. I've got it pulled. That's all she's got. Nope. Nope. Well, shucks. You see any oil leaking under it? Let's check that, see that oil pan. Oh yeah, 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 she's pouring oil. Oh, that's, I wonder if it's an oil cooler. It's weird that it's pouring oil as soon as you started it. Oh, someone's gonna call me right now? Really? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this Copart walk around. I hope the videos are coming out to be a reasonable length of time because I'm, kind of in a hurry to get all this done get these videos edited so i can start going to school and getting these motorcycle classes knocked out i want to get it done i want to get that license and then we're back to business as usual got to give a big shout out again to michael from not garage santa's workshop santa's workshop <laughs> that's santa's right his workshop remember that i have a link down below just click the link go right on over there and subscribe to his channel and tell him what's up from the a8r family man we really appreciate you coming out here today because hey, it's I've a drive. Had a, I've had a blast. Yeah, we, I'll, I'll do it again if I want to, if, I, if he'll let me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. Absolutely. It's good having him out here today. So go subscribe to his channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuild. Subscribe to my channel if you're not currently subscribed, although I'm, you probably are. I'm going to get out of here. We got one more Copart walk around, and we are done for the week. So stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you. You know what? TikTok, please follow me on TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. I need to get my subscribers up over there, my followers or whatever they call them over there in TikTok land. I need to get my followers, my subscribers up. So follow me over on TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And with that, I'll see you all very soon in the next one.